What's good, YouTube? Jay Jones here, and today we're going to talk about my favorite and top sneakers to hoop in if you a point guard. Hey, all my point guards in the building, stand up. Give yourself a round of applause, man. This one, this one for you. I made a list not too long ago, but that was before I started hooping in a bunch of different you know brands and other sneakers so i kind of want to give you guys an updated list for those of you who are looking for a sneaker to get you through summer you know what i'm saying i know y'all playing a lot of aau ball maybe you know what i'm saying you in the men's league or maybe you just stepping back on the court man and you know your style of play and you're looking for a video like this to kind of help you out before i get into my list and again this is more of a personal list this comes down to personal preference there are a couple of sneakers that i want to mention that i feel like i haven't tested that will probably make the list serious player plus is a sneaker that i haven't tried yet but i've heard really good things about so i want to show it some love from my understanding it's like an upgraded kobe 8. if you've had a pair let me know if i'm spot on with that again we can test them but it's like mm, anytime i start testing different brands y'all be asking for it, but y'all i ain't gonna lie y'all don't be watching for real <laughs> Y'all don't be watching like that. Timberwolves are out the playoffs. Yeah, the Mavs got them out there, but you can't lie. That AE1 low looks elite. As we continue today's video, I want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Fabric by Gerber Life. As a busy parent, you want to give your kids a head start in their financial future. However, as we know, investing can be both confusing and time consuming but now there's a better way fabric by gerber Life makes it easy for you to set up an investment account for your child this account grows with them and helps them prepare for their financial future fabric by gerber life was designed by parents for parents to make it easy to plan for and manage your family's financial path with the kids investment account from fabric you start investing in your child's future today and the good news is it's all online and setting up an account should only take you about five minutes and you don't have to spend a lot of money you can do a lot with as little as one dollar a day it's a very easy and streamlined process you can manage your child's accounts and their investments straight from your phone with your child's unique gifting link instead of receiving the gift that your child might outgrow they can help grow your child's investment investment instead hey fabric by gerber i ain't gonna lie you got my attention start investing in your child today at meetfabric.com slash j jones m-e-e-t fabric.com slash j jones it's always good to have an investment to start an account for the people you love and care about the most and it's quick and easy why and even if you're young don't tell your parents to get you right hey mom hey dad plug me in with fabric by gerber life i need you parenting is important investing is important thank you fabric by gerber life for sponsoring this video and hey let's get back to our show let's pop it off with the list and coming in at the number one spot again no particular order just the sneakers that i hoop in all the time and starting it off i gotta go with the jaw one i love the four foot zoom it feels better the more i break it in initially you will feel it but of course the more you hoop in the shoe the more comfortable you start to feel in this sneaker as well and that four foot zoom yeah i ain't gonna lie it be making a boy feel bouncy it be, hey. there are certain qualities that you should have when you're looking for a sneaker as a point guard or a shifty player and number one you want to be low to the ground you got to be able to have some core feel there i feel like if it's a little too cushioned then that's usually for bigger players number two you want a sneaker that plays fast you want to be able to move how you like to move again we're usually on our feet a lot getting in and out of crossovers getting in and out of drag options you got to be able to play fast and lastly good traction and good fit and when we talking about the jaw i feel like most of those qualities are in this shoe next let's talk about a sneaker that's pretty old but still very valuable in my opinion and that's the lebron 20. the material choice is a lot better than the jaw multi-directional traction pattern so you good when you making your moves when you need to plant the fit is a1 you get zoom in the forefoot and the heel in this one it's like an upgraded version of the shoe that we just talked about it's like an upgraded version of the jaw when it comes to a sneaker that i'm really really comfortable in and it fits my style of play the lebron 20 is up there don't always feel the pressure to upgrade your sneakers if something's working for you then it's all right those qualities that we talked about earlier being able to play fast court feel good traction nice fit we're on 20. next we can't talk point guards and not talk Kyrie Irving that Kyle won what with Anto what probably the most well-balanced sneaker on the list the traction a1 we talked about this again if you haven't seen the review then go check it out from a design standpoint I love the design it actually 
feels like art on your foot. You know what I'm saying? That's what Kyrie and the brand were trying to get accomplished, and they were able to do that. Some of the colorways that be dropping. I don't know if you've seen the ones that he been hooping in lately. Them brown joints? Crazy. I love the midfoot strap, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice detail as well. I like the cushion. Of course, you don't get as much court feel as the two sneakers that we just talked about. Uh, it's a little more balanced to where you do get court feel, but you get more on the impact protection side as well. You get some nice pillows towards your heel, towards the Achilles, just to add to your comfortability as well. The only issue, I think, uh, for me personally, was that I didn't get the correct size. And so I'm hoping that I could get... Uh, that playoffs colorway that's about to drop so i can get the correct size but you can't leave the kai one off the list now a sneaker that didn't get a lot of love initially that is the d book one hey i'm gonna be real i don't think this is a bad debut sneaker one thing that sold me on this sneaker is the material choice it gives that old school feel with the leather and that conforms to your foot nicely the fit is also another great area on this shoe when you put these on snug fit heel to toe you locked in now from a design standpoint many think the sneaker is just a little too plain they kind of feel like you know nike could have did a better job there's nothing in the forefoot they do give you cushion in the heel but you know just having the ability to not get the most out of your sneaker i feel like a lot of people wasn't feeling and that's something i forgot to mention with the car for example with the car the brand is doing a good job giving you the most out of this sneaker whereas the d book it's kind of like mm, we gonna give you they'll be all right with this you know what i'm saying <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's the first one, so just take this for now. We'll, we'll talk about the rest later. It's just based off preference, man. If you're a D-Book fan, uh, I hoop in these all the time. I don't have any issues, and I think this is another good option for a lot of point guards out there. I know we kind of heavy on the Nike side, but that's why I wanted to mention a few options in the beginning as well. Another good option, Sabrina 1. That's another option I didn't mention. I know y'all seen the leaked images of that Sabrina 2. Yeah. You got my attention. Arguably the best sneaker out right now, man. Whether that's the one or the two. The one is actually on sale as well. So if you want to go ahead and get you a pair, then this is a great time to do that. <laughs> nice traction. Court fill is there. The material choice to me is between the LeBron and the Ja is better than the Ja but not quite better than the LeBron. I think I will give the LeBron 20 the edge. Uh, I love the fact that they brought the flower back on the medial and lateral sides. Now the heel does get a little clunky. I'm gonna be real. It gets a little clunky at times, kind of, kind of similar to how the Kobe 7 did back in the day. If you hoop and you've been hooping in the Kobe 7, then you kind of know like, yeah, the Kobe 7 sometimes could get a little clunky in the back when I'm kind of uh, thinking about it. But other than that, you know, you still, can do whatever you need to do in the sneaker i'm just being pretty specific at the moment from a design standpoint it's obvious that you know the kobe has influenced this sneaker i mean a lot of these sneakers if i'm being honest but you know that influence is for sure showing here and even with the sabrina too i can't wait to test it but we've talked about it we've seen it you've seen the rumors it looks just like the kobe 5. so another nice option they feel great it's light you can do whatever you need to do in them you can play fast in them that's always the key and the fit is there so that is the five sneakers that i would recommend for a lot of point guards these are the sneakers that i find myself playing in the most but i also tell you the kd 17 the kd 17 is up there you know what I'm saying? I started to put it in there, but I'm just being honest with, you know, what I'm kind of hooping in. Really, the, the top two, these are the sneakers I'm in the most. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. These just, I just found myself just enjoying the Jai and the LeBron 20. And when I find a sneaker, I stick with it. Y'all know that. Don't forget, if you do got it like that and you got a nice little bag, I know some of y'all got some cheese out there. It won't hurt to toss a pair of Kobe's on the list. You know what I'm saying? Again, another sneaker that's very versatile to all guards, whether you a point or a shooting. I'm going to be honest. You can play fast and these move how you want to. Kobe 5, Kobe 6 are the best options I think you could go with right now. Y'all know I used to be a huge fan of the Kobe 8. That's not to say that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I still mess with the Kobe 8. It's just I found myself wanting a little more underfoot. Uh, it's very minimalistic. Like, you're, you're on the ground nonstop. And for me at this point in my life, like, uh, I, I need a little more than that. But that's my list, man. Let me know what you think. If you have some of those other options that I mentioned in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, fill me in. A little heavy on the Nike side, I will admit. Don't hate me too much in the comment section. To be fair, like we talked about, they do keep all their sneakers similar. And that's why a lot of them are on the list. <laughs> A lot of them look alike. A lot of them play alike. So, I mean, that's what you kind of, that's what you expect to get. There is some versatility here with the answer. I do like hooping in the car. I'm just waiting to get another pair with uh, the most appropriate fit. I think you go with any of these options, especially a couple on sale, you're going to be like, okay, Jay Jones. You still know what you're talking about, bro. But that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow the kid on Instagram at I am Jay Jones. And I'm sure y'all know why, but why? Because I can't get brand deals without you. There, I said it.
know what I'm saying? Every follow counts. Be sure to follow your boy on TikTok as well at I am J Jones FR. That's for real. Trying to get things popping over there. I get some brand deals over there. Help you. Help a brother have. For those still trying to support your boy, hey, you can still get them wristbands, you can still get them tees and hoodies at neverfold.shop. Neverfold.shop is the place you place your order, and hey, I got you. But that's it for me, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you like the list. Let me know if it's trash. You know what I'm saying? Put me on to something new. It ain't no problem. Just keep a brother posted. You know what I'm saying? Comment, get the algorithm popping. And hey, I know y'all be wanting other brands and sneakers. I'm going to be honest, but the biz don't be. I told you. Biz don't really be performing well, but I got you. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace, jerks. I'm out. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying, lightning struck, power out, his sparks was flying.